folks, Brian Bessini on train returns at 13.40. This morning, locomotive manager Phil Brown is on duty at Blynau Festiniog station. No, I right, thank you. OK, train returns 13.40. This historic mining town in North Wales is the terminus station of the Festiniog Railway, which winds 13 and a half miles from here to Port Madden on the coast. The station is shared by both the Heritage Railway and National Rail, providing a valuable source of income for the Festiniog line. But for the last five months, the main line to Blynau has been closed due to flooding, stemming the flow of tourists into the town and losing the railway over £30,000 of revenue. Today, to everyone's relief, it's once again reopening. It provides a vital connection for us. They work very hard to get it open. Bear in mind, you know, I live in that area and the water was about nine, ten foot deep on the other side of the wall from where I live. So it washed the line out. They worked hard to get it back. They accept this is a good part of the line to keep the town going. To celebrate the reopening of the connection at Blynau, both lines are putting on a record-breaking steam display for the public's enjoyment. A couple of hours' time, there'll be six steam engines in Blyner, in Blyner Station, which... I've never seen before, so it's probably a record for us, and a record for the main line as well. Festiniog's lightweight engines are out in force, but National Rail are bringing out the big guns. Two colossal 79-ton mainline engines are currently travelling 72 miles from Chester. It's a treat for both those on board and for the public in Blynau, who are out in their droves to see them in the flesh. With the new guests just 20 minutes away, it's up to Phil to welcome them. Hello, oh, family signal. It's Phil Brown for Single Welsh Island uh, Railways here. Uh, I'm your flag. I'm your flag when up in Blinder, so I'm all in position for this special when it's uh, ready to leave you. Is he coming on time? All right, cheers, signal. Thank you. Bye bye. Need a pair of pliers and a hammer to get into platform two. I'm just going to let you across and then we've got a mainline train coming in so I'm going to have to shut the gates I'm afraid. Fingers poised on shutters, the public expectantly await the arrival of the guests of honour. some serious refueling and having come all the way from Chester they need their thirsts quenched normally the railway's small water tower would be enough to refill their engines but each of these beasts holds 4,000 gallons so instead they're going straight to the mains I don't think it's been used for a while looking at that Phil's own smaller engines would be full in about four minutes, but today it's a bit of a bigger operation. The water's been on now for a good 40 minutes now, so they're probably about half full. There is at least a pretty surefire way to tell when they've had enough. Oh, that's 
forward, soon the engines are full to bursting, and the public have enough photos to keep their social media accounts going for a good while. But there's just enough time for a quick photo call for the crew. Even I'm allowed a little bit of fun from time to time. Bit bigger than ours, valve gear still the same, principle still the same, just having to be a little bit larger to be honest. Everyone's got the same enthusiasm because everyone's in it for the same love. With his work for the day over, Phil's sure to milk his railwayman privileges for all they're worth. Time to go, go and have a breath of the job and get that train home.